Breaking news, my wonderful people. It's happening you now. As the days draw closer, men that has ability to think and to really look at situations happening around them have come up with this to say, I am leaving you. Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. I have to stop lying to myself. I have looked at the political terrain. I have seen Nigeria and I know that if really we want Nigeria to change and we want the ship to be steered in the right direction, you are not the man for the job. I'm leaving you to endorse the person I feel should be the one. It was a musician that says, who the cap fits, let him wear it. And so I am leaving. What's happening? A former APC presidential aspirant, Dump Tinubu, endorses Peter Obi, says Tinubu not fit or prepared to be Nigerian's president. They said Tinubu is not fit. Is not fit at all. So, I mean, this was an aspirant in, you know, with APC. And um, today he has said, well, if he's going to be true and honest to himself, Tinubu is not prepared and um, he does not want to be part of those who will mislead this country or drag her in the wrong direction. Let's get all the details. Former APC presidential aspirant endorses Peter Obi. Tinubu not fit, prepared to be Nigerian's president at all. The spokesperson of the People's Democratic Party Presidential Campaign Management Committee, Dino Maleye, on Tuesday call, called to question the competence and fitness of the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. According to him, Tinubu plunged into new depth of deception when, by an ungreeded antique, unrevealed flow of thought in despite to the body of Christ by profanity and desecrating the communion. In a statement he personally signed on Tuesday, Maleye alleged that the former Lagos State Governor transversed the essentials and have threatened the change to humanity. He added that the APC flag bearer fell out of tune with world leaders in ways that betray a lack of understanding of what Reverend Martin Luther King the Jr. called the fragrance of urgencies of the now. According to the former lawmaker, Tinubu robbed insult on injury by calling the Holy Communion into an unrelated conversation having overlooked Christianity and Christians and the choice of a running mate, he now shields and tells us who he truly is. It would not have been honorable for Tinubu to simply come on board and tell Nigerians. The Muslim Muslim ticket is out of the way. Muslim Muslim ticket ex-APC aspirant endorses Tinubu says a former presidential aspirant of the All Progressive Congress at the 2019 Charles has thrown his weight behind the presidential ambition of the Labour Party party flag bearer Peter Obi. Charles, who affirmed his position in a statement issued in Abuja on Tuesday, said the Muslim Muslim ticket portrayed of his ex of his ex party was a clear sign of an Islamization agenda and deposition into the government. This is even as he declared Obi as the most credible candidate to lead Nigeria out of the woods. The po politician public endorsement came barely three months after another APC presidential aspirant, Dr. S. K. C. Ogbonna, withdrew his support from the party presidential candidate, Ashiwaju Amot Bolatinubu, to en publicly endorse Peter Obi. Charles had attributed the reason for his action for dumping Tinubu to his firmness on the shares of the background of truth. On Tuesday, he chose to treat the same, tread the same path when he threw his weight behind the Labour Party presidential candidate. According to him, there is a grave need for Nigeria to shun sentiment, vote for the right candidate, Times like this demands truth, self-help to make the best decision 
for our country, Nigeria. The former APC aspirant said he was unhappy that Nigeria was witnessing the so-called economic plunge. It should not have been. Voting for Itinubu will put Nigeria in more deprivation and desperate plunge deep more. I will not have my hand destroy Nigeria. So my people, there you have it. Uh, people are coming out publicly now to endorse uh, our very own brother, Peter Obi. Some are saying, I think I'll be making a huge mistake by going out there and supporting Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. So they say again, the ball is in your court, Nigerians. What area will you kick it to? Some persons have made their choice. They've picked a candidate they feel is worthy to become Nigerians' president. But what say you? That's the most important thing. Not what anybody is saying, but what are you saying? Because um, we have to be crystal clear on the mandate. Is Nigeria going to become the best nation? Is Nigeria going to be changed? Are we going to ensure that we work together to bring together that very peace, the peace by peace that has been destroyed? Are we going to bring it together? Are we all going to work at it? Or we are going to share, you know, the, the essence of us making a real tangible progress to bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. The persons, the people we have today and all that is being said, where are we in all of this? Are we shunning the very essence that brings us together? Are we shunning the very importance that makes us who we are? Are we throwing away our hearts and leaving ourselves to chance? Remember that every one of us have got a duty, you know, of responsibility to ensure that the right candidate becomes who should become the president. If we leave the premise of truth and we begin to meddle around opinions, we may be making a huge mistake. What will it be? Right about now, a decision, you know, decision making time. Make a choice that will make Nigeria better. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye-bye.